Right, I'd just like to show you my um, gas forge that I've made out of two thermalite um, blocks, some angle iron, some 8mm and 6mm studding and it's all bolted together and clad with aluminium to make a nice forge which you can use an ordinary propane torch to run. You can buy these thermalite blocks from any builder's yard or most builder's yards and they're easy to um, cut with ordinary woodwork tools um, they're lightweight and they stand up to heat very well so these are the thermalite blocks that I used just standard size and they go back to back So the two blocks are held back to back with the angle iron, some 8mm studding, some 6mm studding and the whole forge is then clad with 3mm aluminium plate. And the thermalite blocks are left in exactly the size in which I bought them and I bought the aluminium plate which is three millimeter thick and I had that actually cut to size and there are a few sellers on eBay which will cut the aluminium plate to the size that you want and make you up a personalized order which saves a lot of messing about and having to cut it yourself so this is my block forge that I'm making out of two thermalite blocks and I've got it held together with um, angle iron and 8mm threaded studding and I'm going to be drilling down through the top using my Bosch drill with a piece of tube that has been split at the end and the woodwork cutter, a 2 inch cutter has been pushed up in the tube and is held in place with a jubilee clip and I'm going to drill down through the top and in from the side or the front face to meet the down hole. And now I'm going to clad the outside of the forge with aluminium plate which is 3mm thick and I had it or I bought it cut to size. So this is the finished thermalite block gas forge and it's got the aluminium cladding on all sides and I'm going to use an ordinary propane Sivert gas torch with a standard burner and I'm going to anneal an old cold chisel ready for machining. So I'll load the cold chisel down into the forge
and then you can just leave the cold chisel in the forge and let it cool down you can see how hot it is in there and even though it's red hot inside the outside aluminium is absolutely cool and after a couple of hours of cooling the cold chisel will be ready to machine and this is how to set the um, forge up so it's hands free and I'm going to anneal this um, old file I've just connected it to this piece of rod with a jubilee clip so that one will go down in there like that and then And then leave that one to cool and that file will be annealed ready for working so the forge is very easy to make and quick to make and uh, you just have the basic materials and I shall um, give you the dimensions of the materials you need below the video and um, I've had one of these for years for making knives. I've used it for hardening O1 um, tool steel blades. And also, as I've shown, you can anneal all types of old tools for reworking or machining on the lathe. And then you can re-harden them to what specification you like. And as you have seen, you don't need a special burner to run this forge. You can just use an ordinary standard civet torch like this one with a standard burner. And um, it's very cost effective to run. And this is that large um, cold chisel which I annealed earlier. And now I'm turning this down. It's soft enough to turn and it will make a little bit of noise because it's going over the flats but I'll just show you it um, being machined
So you can pick up cold chisels and things like that from car boot sales, nice large ones like this, anneal them and then you've got them to machine into other tools and you can save yourself a lot of money. And the great thing about this forge is that the blocks are easily replaceable, being standard size. Um, if they break down in the future, you can just nip round to your local builder's yard and buy a couple more. But having said that, I've had one of these for many years now and used it to treat or heat treat many knife blades and I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. You just must keep them in a nice dry environment when not using them.